Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hot Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's talking about Town Hall 9, how to three-star these bases that have the offset air defenses, because they can be tricky. We saw these types of bases at Town Hall 10 first, but they're also becoming popular at Town Hall 9. We saw quite a few of these in the war against Above and Beyond, and our Town Hall 9s did a great job at three-starring these in mostly fresh hits with a few that took two attacks, but uh, got these bases taken care of really quickly, and that was important for sure. So we're going to be taking a look at many different attack strategies that work, how you want to approach these bases, especially if you still want to use air, uh, an air combination of troops. So we'll go through quite a few bases today, uh, but I wanted to get this kind of Town Hall 9 video out for you guys because the last one, the live, uh, live on War Day, I had to take down uh, as requested by the enemy clan uh, because it's I'm kind of a guest in Immoral Thieves. Uh, I kind of have to uh, respect their uh, decision of the uh, clan they were going against to take that down because uh, I am a guest there. I don't want to uh, overstep my welcome. So took that one down live on War Day, but this one is going to be something else for you Town Hall 9s to look at. Um, we'll go ahead and start this first attack. And uh, you can see right off the bat, this base has those four air defenses all up by the queen. It has the expos nice and uh, separated. So all the uh, typical things you see on bases these days to try to defend against air. And Dirty Dancing, just going to go at this base from the bottom left here. One thing that you'll see in this attack, and I think a few other attacks, is that you don't have to respect those air defenses too much. People, um, attackers have been trained at Town Hall 9 that you have to get those air defenses taken out if you want to use La Loon, but that's not always the case. The air targeting defenses like Wizard Towers, Archer Towers, Teslas, and Expos, those are sometimes even more important to get taken out because the air defenses, they're going to they're gonna be on your Lava Hounds no matter what, and they're not going to be that big of an issue for your balloons even after your Lava Hounds go down because if you have a group of like 12 healthy balloons, those air defenses are going to have a hard time taking those out as the balloons are moving in. So he only has, or she only has, I should say, one Lava Hound, but the kill squad got so deep into this base that it got two of those air defenses taken out. The Lava Hound sits right on the uh, air defense right there, and yep, there is one air defense and that Lava Hound's about to bust, so... It's not always a red flag if you run out of Lava Hounds. If you have enough balloons, especially if you have haste spells to, to help propel them in, uh, those balloons can get the air defense taken out right there. Almost gets it, but the queen is there anyway. Uh, sometimes if the kill squad comes in uh, and gets some great value, the queen will still be up at the end of the attack. You can see he has plenty of troops left up, or she has plenty of troops left up. Um, my apologies to Dirty Dancing. Uh, so nice attack there. Go ahead and fast forward to the end here. And we'll take a look at a few more uh, with some different strategies. We're going to take a look at a few that use La Loon and a few that use a little bit of a different strategy or different strategies to take out these types of bases. But like I said, Above and Beyond had a ton of bases uh, with these offset air defenses. This one very similar to the last one. We're looking at Ali. And once again, coming at this base from the other side, you want to be careful about going for those air defenses, even if the queen is there, because uh, the defender, lowercase Jake, um, I guess lowercase Jake it is lowercase, um, put a lot of his storages uh, to defend that area of the base, and it's trying to kind of bait you into coming f from that side. But it's, gonna, it's fine, even if there's three air defenses left up, you have Lava Hounds for a reason, and even if the Lava Hounds pop due to the high amount of uh, air defense attack volume coming at them, the balloons are not going to take much damage because most of the air targeting defenses have already been taken out. So there's going to be 12 healthy balloons, and it still takes two shots per air defense to take those guys out. So you don't always have to be afraid of running out of Lava Hounds and still having one air defense left up. You can see here, good angle on the kill squad. When people make these types of bases, they tend to clump together Wizard Towers and Archer Towers, making it very easy to come in and take them out with the kill squad. Uh, you can see the kill squad was so successful that he got... Um, looks like two of those, or at least one of those air defenses. The other one right up there didn't quite go down. Um, very low on health, though. And uh, he has, I think, two Lava Hounds right there. The first one pops. And 
coming at the second one right here. He is out of spells, but look at how many balloons he has left up. Even though the air defenses will take out that Lava Hound, the balloons are moving in, and the air defenses aren't really covered by any defenses, so it's pretty easy to directly target those air defenses. Don't fear the air defenses that much. Of course, if there's multiple air defenses left up, you might be in trouble. But if you can make it so your kill squad gets some great value and maybe only gets one of those air defenses, even if you only have two Lava Hounds, that's going to be fine if the pathing works out uh, well, which it probably will if the air defenses are offset. As long as you get the Queen uh, and there's just you know two air defenses and not many other defenses left up, your balloons can get the job done typically. Uh, they have more ability than you think, especially if you have a haste or two left over for them. So you can see how many troops Ali has left up here. Uh, Queen's still up as well. Awesome stuff. Let's move on and take a look at a few more. Um, you guys can actually see <laughs> as we back out here, this war is still going on. Um, should be an exciting ending. And uh, I would show up, but it's mainly Town Hall 11 attacks. Probably going to be mostly dips. And uh, it's not really cool to show dip attacks anymore because Town Hall 11s are... Uh, it's pretty easy to 3-star Town Hall 10s these days. That's the main reason you haven't seen the live endings to the wars as much, because it is mainly Town Hall 11 dips towards the end of the wars, and they are very spread out over the last three hours or so. Uh, but anyway, this one interesting attack here, Dragons, uh, goes ahead and sends in a test balloon to test for traps, then another group of three balloons on that haste spell. That was very good because he was expecting that there would be a Tesla or some air traps, something to make that air defense better protected. So he dropped a test barbarian, a test balloon, he used the haste, was very careful to make sure that air defense did go down because it could be very costly if it didn't. Now here he comes with the jump. Unfortunately, the king does not go into the base, but a few barbarians do. He has the queen sitting back. She will be uh, able to help with that next air defense as soon as the Lava Hound goes down, uh, the Baby Dragon will get taken out by that air, air defense right there, but the Queen's still at full health, not really any defenses targeting her, has the poison for the pups. So this one is a Dragon attack, and that's probably the next thing you want to think about if you see offset air defenses. Can I use Dragons on this base? In this case, the Sweeper is not that much of an issue. The air defenses were very easy to get for a cheap uh, investment. Just a few balloons, his heroes, he already got three of them taken out. Now he sends in his dragons, opposite side of the air defense. I think that was good because he wants to come at the wizard towers, the archer towers, the Teslas. Those are a bigger threat and those have to be taken out while his troops are still strong. Of course, that last air defense is an ongoing issue, but you can see he has the lava hound coming across to soak up all those traps. Uh, right there, it soaked up three seeking air mines. Awesome stuff there. He could have waited a little bit longer because the balloons don't quite path in. It would have been nice to have some of those dragons or other balloons on the top left making their way in as the Lava Hound cut across. So his one uh, little push for that air defense does not work out, but he still has a rage left over. And the important thing is look at how many defenses he got taken out on the left side of the base and on the right side of the base also. So basically there's no other defenses left up to be a threat. Even though that one air defense is still up, he has his queen, he has a few dragons, um, some minions, and uh, that's one of the benefits of a dragon attack is it somehow it works out so that there's not a whole lot of defenses left up. You're able to target the high uh, defense areas. And even if one air defense is left up at the end, oftentimes you have your queen or some other troops for cleanup. So you don't have to worry about getting every last bit of the base taken out um, because the air defenses are only an issue if there's other stuff around them to protect them from ground troops, which there's not. So the last few dragons help out. The queen gets the final air defense. Nice attack to Tom bomb bomb deal um i should learn how to pronounce that but nice attack to tom swag poison like i said look for dragon attacks they are a effective way to get the three star along with using the traditional laloon like you saw in the first two attacks uh, moving on number 17 here this one is a ground attack and of course whenever there's air defenses in weird places like this it doesn't affect ground attacks quite as much but oftentimes it'll change how the base is set up. This is kind of a weird design, uh, like a very vertical oriented base. And you can see it's calling for Valks. Valks are underused at Town Hall 9 for sure. I think they are more powerful than people give them credit for. And this attack, I think, demonstrates that to a certain extent. We have uh, Victory 
I think those wall breakers were in the CC. Yeah, they must have been because those were max wall breakers. I, for a second, I worried I'm showing a Town Hall 10 attack, but no, this is a Town Hall 9. Uh, actually has re relatively medium level heroes, especially in Genesis. 25-20 is not that high. Most people have 30-30. So coming at this base with the Valks has the heal. Two jumps, two heals. Very old style, traditional attack, which I love to see. And it worked out perfectly because there's nothing flanking his troops in that first... Um, part of the base towards the top everything worked out perfectly the jump connected all those compartments it really gets almost all the base taken out with the uh, the valks and the two jumps and the two heels has these nice balloons for the corners here to get those defenses as the base kind of got wider towards the middle there were a few defenses flanking so he gets most of those taken out with the balloons and then here come hogs for the last row of defenses a very tailored tailored attack to this base um, base specific, which I love to see um, making an army composition very specifically for this base. See how many hogs he has left up. Uh, the Valks did a great job. They pretty went pretty much went north to south on, on this base, along with the king. Still has the king's ability. Crush this base. Like I said, guys, as bases get weird, not even specifically like this base, but any base that has a weird design, look for ways to exploit it um, because typically there's ways other than La Loon, which it'll be defending against to get it taken out. Valks are a good option if the base is very skinny and vertical. It did get kind of wider in the middle, um, but that's at that point he had balloons and hogs to help out the Valks because they couldn't reach the outer corners. But that initial push towards the top here, that jump right in this area connected everything and these buildings touching each other drew the Valks back into the middle so they could take the next jump right around here and move on and get the Expos and the other defenses taken out. So it worked out really nicely. Um, ton of troops left up, Valks, Queen, King, a golem, um, crushed the base, nice stuff to victory. One more attack to take a look at, number 25. Um, here we go, 25, Red Rum. And this one is, I, I love this attack. It, it kind of looks like it might have been a fail. Um, you can see how low on time he is when he starts, about six seconds left. But the idea is what matters. This one is kind of similar to the dragons, kind of similar to the uh, attack you guys just saw with the Valks. Basically, it's a little bit of an old-fashioned attack when all four air defenses are on one side of the base, coming at it and using just balloons to take out the back end. So a uh, Govalo, I guess you could call it, has a few Valks in there. Basically, just coming at this base with a jump and some Valks, going to get all four air defenses taken out really easily. Now, there is that entire uh, part of the base on the other side that has wizard towers, has uh, expos, air sweepers, archer towers, has pretty much everything, but he has 15 balloons, a lava hound, and five haste. The lava hound is just a tank for the top left up there. You can see there's so many defenses, even though there's no air defenses, it's definitely worth it to bring a lava hound and tank for, you know, four or five defenses. I believe there's a bit of a Tesla farm in there as well. Uh, there's the three haste, he'll come at the bottom part of the base too. Uh, the queen and the king are doing fine because there's not a whole lot of point defense up there. So he's able to get the air defenses taken out and still have his heroes left over. But at the top left there, you can see the Lava Hound actually tanked pretty nicely, but a few uh, Teslas and stuff that qu couldn't quite reach it started to target balloons and got those balloons taken out. So unfortunately, the top left only got, you know, 60, 70% of the defenses taken out. There's still a few uh, left up. But here comes the next group of balloons with a haste and a heal. Um, to counter that wizard tower's splash damage. So the balloons just come right through at full health. Um, with the heal spell, the only thing that can take out balloons is typically an air defense. Uh, the wizard towers aren't going to do much with the balloons under a heal. Um, so they get that part of the base taken out. The queen finally comes through behind a golem, actually multiple golems, I think, which are still left up. And uh, right here, she steps up for the air sweeper. And here comes the last group of balloons, attempt number two on the top left of that base. And finally, he does get the job done with the last haste, another three balloons, and has one in the bag that he can deploy for cleanup on the bottom there. Nice attack to Red Rum, very creative. Once again, that's just another way you can take out these bases with the offset air defenses. Hope this video helps. I'm not sure how many of you guys see these types of bases, but we see them quite a bit in Genesis. So I wanted to make a video for you guys, especially those of you in CWL or competitive wars that see these types of anti-three-star bases. 
this can be very helpful um, for getting the three star using any of these strategies. But like I said, remember the basics. Don't fear those air defenses. Look to take out the air targeting defenses. Even if there's like three air defenses left up and you only have two Lava Hounds, you still can get the three star, especially if the uh, air defenses are easy to target with your balloons and get taken out quickly. Also be creative with getting those four air defenses right away and using dragons or a lot or like balloons or something like that on the back side of the base like we saw in the later attacks from this video. So all good ways to get the job done. Also you can use uh, hogs, valks, ground combos um, of course. Uh, th those work fine and the air defenses don't matter much for those of course. So hope this video helped and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye Sectatron out.